is we continue to follow breaking news this morning that after a couple weeks of interviews, uh -huh. the Broncos have their new head coach. Yeah, Denver 7 Broncos insider Troy Rank confirms the team is hiring Packers offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett. And Troy is joining us live right now. Troy, Brian and I were just talking that he seems to have a great personality, good guy, but is that the reason the Broncos hired him or what, what is he bringing to the team? Well, when you look at what George Payton wanted from this search, he wanted a leader who could inspire and empower. And it doesn't hurt that he's a human Red Bull and he can caffeinate this team. I mean, he's, he exists in stark juxtaposition, if you will, to Vic Fangio. And what Nathaniel Hackett will bring is energy. And he's a first-time head coach, so that brings risk, but it also brings someone who's been looking to embrace this challenge for the last few years. He's an interesting story because he grew up around football. His dad, Paul Hackett, that's who I knew better. He was at one time the head coach at USC in California. He was a longtime offensive coordinator with multiple teams, including the Chiefs and Jets. So Hackett grew up in football, but he thought at one point he was going to be a microbiologist, maybe a veterinarian. And, and then he played a prank at UC Davis when they were dissecting a frog that did not go over well. And he decided, you know what, I'm going to try this football thing. And he's had an interesting journey from college to into the pros. He started his pro career uh, years ago as kind of the offensive assistant control coach. But where he began to gain traction, it was as an offensive coordinator in, Buff in Buffalo and then in Jacksonville. But it did not end well in Jacksonville. But Jacksonville is where he really made his name. He helped lead the Jaguars to the AFC Championship game several years ago. The key will be, can he incorporate a passing attack? His Jacksonville teams were known for running the football and basically getting around the clumsy play of quarterback Blake Bortles. But fans are going to like Nathaniel Hackett. He's going to win the press conference. Now he's going to have to show, does he have the chops to be the head coach? He's shown he can run an offense. Can he jumpstart this offense and run the room, if you will? Right, and you mentioned Troy, first offensive-minded head coach for the Broncos since Gary Kubiak back in 2015-17. Uh, to 17. What pieces do, do the Broncos have in place that he, he can work with and what might they need to go out and get? Well, we'll start with the latter, Brian. They might need to go out and get Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> and <laughs> we can't discount that connection. Now, listen. I want to make it clear, they were never going to hire Nathaniel Hackett because he's good friends with Aaron Rodgers and gets along with him. As I said previously, Rodgers has said of Hackett, no one brings more joy to teaching. And he's been advocating for him to get a head coaching job. Hackett interviewed with Atlanta. And then this coaching cycle, he interviewed with Minnesota, Jacksonville, and the Broncos. What I believe accelerated this move by the Broncos is Hackett became a finalist in Jacksonville mm -hmm. when their talks fell apart with Byron Leftwich, so that forced them. But what do they have? They have Cortland Sutton. They have Tim Patrick. They have Jerry Judy, Albert Okawebunam, Noah Fant, and Javante Williams. They've got a core of offensive pieces now. One receiver or a tight end could go back to Green Bay if you attempt to acquire Aaron Rodgers, but there is a core foundation piece in place offensively. What they need are jumper cables. This yeah. offense has not averaged 21 points a game since Peyton Manning retired. That's in large part right. why they've missed the playoffs for six straight years and why they've had five straight losing seasons. So what Hackett needs to do is bring his creative, open mind. He knows how to run a football, show he can incorporate a dynamic passing attack. That's what Broncos country is thirsty for. You have us excited, yeah, Troy. I, I know. Mean, yeah. I, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They clearly, they did not want to wait on uh, Rams offensive coordinator Kevin O'Connell to finish their season. Nathaniel Hackett is their guy. Uh, Troy, we appreciate your insight. And, of course, we are excited to see what he can do uh, with the Broncos team and what it means. Yeah, you got it. For Aaron Rodgers. Who is, knows? Yeah, and if it means Aaron Rodgers, things are going to get crazy around here. Just <laughs> All like right. Peyton Manning came uh, years ago back in, what, 2012. So right. it's a good day for Broncos country, a new coach, and a chance finally maybe to get this offense going because they've been bad and boring. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. Now they have a chance to change the narrative that this is a team on the rise with a creative offense, with a team that can score points, and hopefully that means maybe Aaron Rodgers. Uh, we will see. We will All see. right. You'll know.